This comment was written regarding Mace and how we boarded her for a short time while we were trying to find a way to change careers to be home with her and didn't have to rehome her. For those of you who don't know, Mazakine is my retired service dog. She retired because she became anxious after being attacked by Dog Training Elite's dog. We did our best to work through it, and ultimately we had to make the hard decision to retire her from work because she wasn't enjoying it anymore, and that's the most ethical thing you can do. At the time that we decided that she needed to be retired, we were working. Well, my husband was working as an over-the-road truck driver, and I was out there with him. So we were essentially, for most of the month, living out of a semi-truck. She had been out there working with me for quite a while, and when we made the decision to retire her, we needed a replacement service dog. That's when we got Lucifer. And the accommodation that allowed me to bring my service dog on the truck was allowed for an ADA compliant service animal, which means they're potty trained and they have at least one task to mitigate my disability. An 11 week old puppy does not fit that restriction. So I stayed home with both dogs for quite a while. I'm talking a few months. Once Lucifer had enough training under his belt to be considered ADA compliant, we took him out and Mazakine out on the road with us. But because Mazakine was no longer working as my service dog, she no longer had public access rights, which means that if there's a place that is not pet friendly, she doesn't get to go in with me. And in a semi truck with a dog with separation anxiety, you have a kennel. She escaped her kennel and dropped off of the top bunk and she was in the driver's seat when we got back to her. That was the day we decided it was no longer safe for her to be out on the road with us, not working as a service dog. But that doesn't mean we were in a position to immediately quit our job. So what's the solution in the meantime? After that incident, we got some friends who were willing to watch her and we said, okay, we're gonna board her with you until we're able to get another job that's local. That way Mazakine can be at home with me because the alternative was rehoming her to someone. And that is not what we wanted. After a few months, we were able to find an employer that is local to us that we were able to get my husband in with, and then I got a job here working from home. Now, everybody's happy. My German Shepherd has a lot of room to run around. Mazakine, my retired service met, sits up there on her top bunk and watches me work all day. We live in our home instead of existing in a semi-truck, and the family stayed together. Now, with all of that being said, I would love for you to tell me what part of that is me not providing safety and stability for my dog. Because temporarily boarding my dog to be able to keep her in the long run was the most responsible thing we can do. And it is not our fault that the people who watched her neglected her. We were not told, we were not shown, we had no idea that was happening until we picked her up. So please, nitpick my actions, tell me where I went wrong.